I basically had to lead the boat into port from my Spanish speaking capabilities. And I mean, that's just applying stuff that I've learned from Proctor before all the way until trying to dock a 140 foot schooner in Cuba. It's crazy what life can lead you to. And even in ocean, I'd say that the hardest parts of ocean when you're like on four hours of sleep and you have eight hours of homework and you're so stressed. Those are some of the moments that I learned the most about myself and that I'd say that I'm 100% a different person coming off of Ocean Classroom than I was before. And I'd, I'd say I was a better person too because now I know a whole lot more about myself and I tested myself in whole new angles of life that I didn't know I could experience. It's just mind-blowing to see all these things I've never seen before. Just seeing that up close in person and within a, a reach of you, it just, it just changes you a bit. It makes you admire the world more. There's so many things in this world and like if you're afraid to try things, you'll never do anything. And so I realized how important it is to go after the things that scare you even if, even if they seem impossible. Being resilient through what I describe as some of the most uncomfortable conditions you'll ever be put into in your life. Like, when it's 3 a.m., you've just finished watch, you're soaking wet, and you, you slept six hours in the past two days, and you have a lab due at 7 a.m., that's when it, like, it really sucks. But when a job's got to get done, it's got to get done. While you're on watch, there are 20 other people sleeping down below that are depending on you to do your job correctly. You just got to have trust in your, uh, your shipmates and um, know that they'll have your back as much as you have theirs. I never would have done those things and like go out of my comfort zone if it wasn't on ocean and like I have 21 other classmates who are pushing me and like inspiring me to do all those things. Sucking the marrow out of it is just like way more important than just one grade. Before ocean, I really focused on getting good grades and staying up and trying to make sure all of these things were kind of in check. So when I applied to college, they could see it and be okay. And then through ocean, I learned more about people experience and how helping others and helping the community you're in can really help you. So when I came back here, the first, one of the first things I did was I signed up to be a tutor and I decided to be more active by helping others and really showing them that I care about the community because I think you can still apply ship shipmate self here because if you have a good proctor community, then you can really focus on the individuals that are here and making sure they're getting everything they need because the community can sustain itself. And then once you have that, then you can focus on yourself, which I think will actually come through helping everyone in the community. I was like so, felt so grateful to be a part of the voyage and I was so happy that I had the opportunity to go on it. And from the moment I stepped on the boat, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that it's happening. It was so surreal. and. From the moment I stepped off the boat, it was like the two months of my life that like transformed me forever. And I felt so grateful to be a part of it. And I made 21 new friends. And I was just so happy that I had the chance to do it. And I'll never forget. Love me, mama, like a